had a really glorified vision of marriage. You know, I imagined myself meeting, you know, this prince that was going to come in and sweep me off my feet. I actually thought I was going to meet a man in Ireland who was going to steal me <laughs> and not let me go back to the United States. <laughs> and we would have this, you know, beautiful wedding and we'd live happily ever after. And, you know, we'd have a big Irish Catholic family and just live our lives that way. But as I got older, you know, I realized I felt that way because that's how society taught me to feel. And as time goes by, I realize I don't know how I feel about marriage for me personally. I don't know if it's something that I'll have. I don't know if it's something that I'll want down the road. But ultimately, if I do decide I want to get married, I do have that option. I do have that option. And unfortunately, not everybody does. And I think it's unjust. I think that folks should be able to get married and have that commitment recognized by the state, by the nation. And it's unfortunate that that's not the case right now. So, <laughs> I support uh, the Freedom to Marry Pledge and I encourage everybody to, to sign that petition and get on board.